Hi there, my name is Valeria, I'm from Supervisely. Today we will solve semantic segmentation task for agricultural use case. Manual labeling for semantic segmentation task is painful. Some state-of-the-art models, such as Segment Anything, may help to solve us this task. But sometimes these models struggle, especially when the images are difficult or in low quality. For this purpose, we can train our own custom smart tool in Supervisely, which can produce excellent results. And I will show you how to do that. Let's start. In this tutorial, I will try to solve semantic segmentation tasks on agricultural images. For my experiment, I have a training and test datasets. Both datasets represent the images in relatively low resolution, which is quite tricky for semantic segmentation. Let's see how the training dataset looks like. As you can see, really low quality, hard to distinguish, but training dataset contains already uh, labeled images. Okay. Uh, in test dataset, the images are unlabeled and we will use them to assess the performance of the models. Okay, let's now see if publicly available models can help us to solve semantic segmentation task on our images. Let's go to Neural Network section, then navigate to Interactive Segmentation. In Serving section, we have state-of-the-art models popular one, which can be used for speeding up the labeling process for interactive semantic segmentation tasks. Let's deploy a RITM, interactive segmentation, smart tool, and segment anything. I can run this app. I need to choose the computer which will be used for serving. I will choose this one, but you can, act, you can connect your own. I will attach a link how you can do that. Let's wait until the app is started. So the model has been successfully deployed. Okay. And let's also serve segment anything. I will also use the same computer for that. I will choose the medium model. Okay. We can navigate to app sessions to see which one is running. So I can see that Segment Anything and RITM Segmentation Smart Tool have, has been successfully deployed. Let's go to our team to see how those smart tools will perform on our data. Let's select some image. Okay, let's do experiment on that image. I will define the class Wheat. And here I have two interactive segmentation smart tools deployed, RITM and segment anything. Let's try to do semantic segmentation using RITM. With the help of green and red dots, we can help the model to predict, but we can see that it's really hard for the model to achieve some good results. Okay. Let's try segment anything. Mm, a bit better, I would say, but still, um, still the performance is far from being precise. As we can see, publicly available models really struggle to achieve highly accuracy semantic segmentation on production data. For that purpose, in Supervisely, we incorporated the possibility to train your own custom neural network based on your data. And I will show you now how to do that. Let's navigate to Neural Network section, RITM, Train RITM. I will define the training session name, and I will choose the computer which will be used for training. Then I press run button. 
the app is started, I will navigate through the training menu. First, I download the data which will be used for training. Then I select the class of interest, which is wheat. Then we have to choose the method of splitting the data set between a train and validation. We can opt for random split, but in my case, I already have the training and validation data sets separated. And I will choose this validation split. Then we can experiment with training augmentations. In Supervisely, uh, there is both possibility to use default templates and also your custom pipelines. I will use the already available templates. I will preview how augmentation works on um, random image. So I can see that the image is rotated. Okay. Here, the image is also rotated and uh, some artifacts are added. So I'm satisfied and I will use this template for augmentation. Here we can choose the pre-trained pre models. Since our data set is really tiny, I will not opt for the heaviest model in order to avoid overfitting. Here we have some training hyperparameters, which include, for example, segmentation type. I'm solving the task of semantic segmentation, so I will choose this one. Um, I will uh, those hyperparameters um, are inherited from, from the original GitHub repository. Uh, I will keep by default, I think, probably most of them. Probably I will increase the batch size per GPU to 8 because I have a powerful GPU connected for this experiment. So the check for every five checkpoints will be saved. OK. Also, we have advanced parameters here, which can also be um, adjusted, uh, but I'm satisfied uh, with the parameters set here and I can press finish step and I press train button. When the training is performing well, the training visualization ch charts shall exhibit certain parameters. Learning rate is decreasing over time, showing stable convergence. Training loss is decreasing over the time, which means that the model minimizes error and becomes smarter. Validation accuracy of the model is increasing, indicating that the model predictions are becoming closer and closer to the ground truth on the validation data set. Let's wait until the training is finished. We have only two epochs left. So training is finished. I can press finish training button. So checkpoints and other training artifacts are downloaded automatically to team files. Let's navigate there. So each five checkpoint is saved to the team files. Also, um, the app saves the path to the best checkpoint, which is 19th in our case, and to the last checkpoint. Let's copy path to the best checkpoint achieved within the training. So it's time to check the results. Let's serve our custom smart tool on our computer and compare its performance to the publicly available models. Let's go to neural network section, go to interactive segmentation, and again, we will run RITM Interactive Segmentation Smart Tool. Now we will copy the pass to the best checkpoint we achieved during our training. And in advanced section, I will put recognizable name of the model and press run button. Let's wait until the model 
is deployed. So the model has been successfully deployed and we can now check the result. Let's go to test dataset. Here we can see the list of interactive segmentation smart tools available for our labeling. Those two smart tools were deployed at the very beginning and we have already seen their performance. Let's see what results can be achieved using our custom smart tool, which we have just trained. Wow, even after the first shot, I can see impressive results. I'm not even sure where to put uh, some dots. So as you can see, uh, the model performance is really impressive. Let's try on another image. So yeah, you can see now that even after the first shot, the model performance is really precise and it's huge difference as compared to, to the standard model. Let's try on another image. Even on this challenging case with a lot of shadows, it's, it produced really good results. As you can see, training custom models and supervisory is really easy. I encourage you to try train your own models based on your data to achieve excellent results.